Are you applying to a master's degree in information systems? Then these are the five best degrees you can look at. Every single one of these universities will be able to get you the best bang for the buck that you're putting in. Every single one of these universities will get you to the best possible workplaces along with great starting salaries. I will break down the five and a lot more in the next couple of minutes. Stay tuned. In part one of the MIS series, which you can find above, I broke down what the information systems degree itself was, what careers are potentially possible, what's the big difference between an IS and a CS master's degree, and in general, what you can expect from a career, salaries, etc. from an information systems degree. After I broke that down, I said that I would give you my five best picks for the master's in information systems degree, and that's what I'm here to do today. I'm going to break down each each one of these universities, of course, in the order of 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So stay tuned for the entire video. You will learn a lot. And I'm also going to break down the individual metrics that are required to be able to get into every single one of these universities. At number five, I have Indiana University's Kelly School of Business with its offering of the Masters in Information Systems. Fantastic degree. The Kelly School of Business, another fantastic place to be. It's a 30 credit course with three potential concentrations. One, um, a business intelligence and analytics concentration, which prepares you to basically take analytical decisions using data. The second one is going to be digital enterprise systems, which helps you understand and develop and transform companies and their digital infrastructure. And the third concentration is going to be the enterprise security and risk management. Think of it as cyber security. These three concentrations make up the bulk of the 30 credits. Pick any one out of these concentrations. Apart from these three concentrations, Kelly School of Business's information systems degree also has capstone projects, case competitions, and internships. Overall, a fantastic degree that has enabled a lot of our previous graduates to, to work at companies like Deloitte, KPMG, Accenture, and a bunch of technology consulting firms, along with Bain, BCG, McKinsey, etc., management consulting firms, and a lot of them end up in product manager or project management roles as well. One of the biggest advantages of students that are applying early early is November 1st and earlier, no application fee and a simplified applications process. You will probably only require the resume, no need for you to submit letters of recommendations or statements of purpose if you are applying before November 1st. Make sure to apply to this university if you are an information systems applicant. At number four, I have the University of Texas at Austin. This is one of the most versatile information systems degrees that you can find. Only one core course, which is a three credit course, out of the 36 credits that are required to graduate. 30 credits are from the electives, out of which 12 can be taken from outside the information systems degree itself. So you can essentially take up as many computer science courses that you can fit in that 12 credit, take another 16 to 18 credits within the core information systems degree, and be able to do a lot more in terms of capstone internships or a thesis as well. With all of these options available for you, UT Austin makes it to number four in my list of the top five best information systems degrees that you can apply to. Before I break down my number one, two, and three picks, here's a little bit of information about Gradvine and the kinds of programs that we've been able to get people into. At Gradvine, we have a peer-to-peer -peer mentorship service, which means that you are essentially going to be sitting down with graduates from these top MIS places who will sit down with you, help you with the entire applications process, and make sure that you get into a top five or a top 10 for your profile. If you're interested to know more, please make sure to schedule the free consultation button. Link will be down in the description box. below. Let's get back to the rest of the three information systems degrees. At number three, I have everybody's favorite, University of Washington at Seattle. With Seattle being such a high opportunity zone with companies like Amazon, Microsoft, and a bunch of other startups being placed out of, University of Washington's iSchool, Information School, Masters of Science in Information Management is the degree 
that I'm putting at the number three spot. It has a requirement of about 65 credits. And keep in mind, we are only recommending the early career residential program, which is 65 credits in two years or lesser. It is for folks with less than five years of work X, which is going to be the majority of you guys. Out of the 65 credits, you have the ability to pursue two specializations, at least two specializations, let me put it that way, amongst a bunch of things that you can do. Apart from the specializations, there's also the availability of CPT for you to do an internship. There's also the availability of capstone for you to find a project either within school or outside of school and be able to do that. In terms of the specializations, University of Washington offers a business intelligence, a data science, user experience, program or product management, information architecture, and information and cybersecurity. A bunch of different specializations and every single student that's getting in can choose up to two of these specializations. All of the curriculum and other details are in the description box below. We'll also link you to the website for the same. One of my favorite programs, given the location, the structure of the program, and the fact that a project at any one of these places is a short, short way for you to make it to some of the best companies within information systems. At program number two for information systems management, my pick is my alma mater, Carnegie Mellon. Carnegie Mellon's information systems from the Heinz School is one of the best, if not the best, masters in information systems that you can do. Class sizes are a little on the higher end, about 350 kids in each class, but that's across multiple different flavors of the program that are available. Don't let the huge class size dissuade you because every single one of these guys that graduates from an information systems course is able to find employment at companies like Amazon, Microsoft, Facebook, which is now Meta, um, Uber, a bunch of technology consulting firms, banking industry, and everywhere. The vast alumni network that you will build out of Carnegie Mellon in general, and the Heinz School in particular, should be enough for you to find a referral and therefore a job from any one of these places that I talked about. For those of you who are interested in knowing which flavor of the program we're recommending, we're recommending the 16 month general program if you're coming from a background of software engineering and software development. And if you're coming from a background of data analytics, the 16 month with the business intelligence and data analytics specialization. That's the one that we are putting at number two in our list of masters of information systems programs. Keep in mind that in order to crack the Carnegie Mellon MISM program, a quantitative background is highly preferred. You don't have to just be an engineer. You could be someone who's taken math or statistics or economics during your undergrad, but they absolutely do prefer a quantitative background. The average GPA has been around the 3.5, 3.6 mark on a scale of four, with the average GRE quantitative around the 162 to 164, 162, 164 on the quantitative section of the GRE. At number one is the University of California, Berkeley's information systems program. The reason why this is on the number one position is because of the location, the heritage of the school, the diversity in the classroom that you will be able to see, as well as the rigorous curriculum there is at the university. The Berkeley program is offered by the iSchool with you needing about 48 units to graduate over the two-year course. In general, the class size has fluctuated between 50 and 70 with the average GPA of about 3.5 on a scale of four. But here is the kicker. The average work experience of folks that have made it in is usually on the higher side. So if you're coming in with at least three to four years of work X, this would be the perfect program for you. The average work experience for someone who's gotten into the Berkeley program is about four or five years. And so if you don't have that much work X, might not make sense for you to apply. The average age, again, given the work experience is about 24, 25. Um, which again is another criteria you want to keep in mind if you're applying to the Berkeley MIS program. One of the biggest advantages of Berkeley is the fact that it's very, very close to the Silicon Valley, of course. It has access to every company that's based out of the Bay Area, and that's where most of the graduates usually go on to work 
One of the other advantages of the Berkeley graduate program in information systems is the fact that there is no quantitative requirement as such. I've had folks with non-quantitative backgrounds like history, psychology, etc. also get in. And so that becomes an interesting virtue or diversity within the program itself. That concludes our top five. Berkeley, Carnegie Mellon, University of Washington, University of Texas at Austin and Indiana University. Apart from these five, there are two other degrees that you should absolutely consider if you're applying to a master's in information systems program. Number six would be University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign. Very, very close to Chicago. Absolutely fantastic campus. Also very, very good in terms of the high school and the program itself. Um, the program has 40 credits and there are only three required courses. Everything else is electives. So you could choose electives from the high school itself or go on to the computer science school and take up as many electives as you want to. My number seven pick will be the Texas A&M University at College Station. 36 credits and an average GPA of 3.5. This should be on everyone's list who's looking for a low cost, low tuition fee sort of a university. That concludes my top five plus two information systems degrees for you guys. At Gradvine, we've had the pleasure of guiding hundreds of students to almost all of these courses. Make sure to schedule a free consultation and let me know in the chat box or the description box or the comment section below what sort of videos you would like from us. Till the next time, stay tuned.